A couple of years ago, I was preparing for a performance of Johann Sebastian Bach's Goldberg Variations. And it suddenly occurred to me that you can fit the Darth Vader theme into variation number 21, like this. Fingers are weak, old man. You can't win, Darth. If you strike me down, I shall become more famous than you can possibly imagine, even if I have to wait the better part of a century for Felix Mendelssohn to discover and perform my St. Matthew Passion. Anyway, this got me wondering, are there other places in the Goldberg Variations where you could squeeze in Star Wars themes? You see, with few exceptions, the Goldberg Variations all follow the same chord progression. And so the trick is finding places where John Williams' themes will align harmonically and rhythmically with the Goldberg Variations. And I did find one place where you can fit in the Force theme. The Force theme is what you hear when Luke is standing in the desert watching the two suns set. And it comes back later as the victory march after they blow up the Death Star, and you hear it in a lot of other places as well. And you can fit it into variation number 30, the last one. The second half of Variation 30 begins like this. If you add the Force theme to the middle voice, you get this. about variation number 30, it's actually a mashup of popular songs from Bach's time, one of which is titled I Have Not Seen You For So Long, and the other one is titled something like Cabbages and Turnips Drove Me Away. I don't know the originals, but by squeezing Star Wars in, I'm just doing more of what Bach was already doing. So that's what happens if you take a whole melodic strain and fit it into the Goldberg variations, but how about just a short motif, like... Um, the Rebel Fanfare, which is one of John Williams's characteristic parallel triad brass flourishes. Parallel triads don't really seem like Bach's sort of thing. But there is one Goldberg variation that uses parallel triads, or uh, parallel triads in the first inversion, and that is variation number 29. <laughs> of Franz Liszt there with the virtuosity. So all you have to do is change the pattern to match Star Wars, but keep the texture and the harmony the same, and you get this. Star Wars into Goldberg variations with minimal alteration, why don't we just rewrite Star Wars in the style of a specific Goldberg variation? Like uh, variation number seven is a pretty distinctive one.
So if you took the Star Wars main theme, the title music, and rewrote it in the style of variation number seven, you'd get something like this. Star Wars in the style of the Goldbergs. Can you imagine going the other way, taking the main Goldbergs theme, the aria, this peaceful melody, and turning it into a heroic Star Wars style march? That would be ridiculous. I don't think you could do that. Or could you? places in the Goldbergs where you can fit in Star Wars themes, but I'm going to let you discover them for yourself. Have fun. Mm -hmm. 